Hey, thanks for tuning in. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how I built this habitat hook. Alright, let's start with the materials you need for building this habitat hook. You'll need a 6x12 quarter inch flat stock aluminum plate, 1 inch by 8 feet aluminum square tubing, a 4 pack of chainsaw dogs, a 2 pack of 4 inch T plate brackets, some 1032 bolts, lock nuts, and washers, and some quarter 20 bolts, lock nuts, and washers. Alright, the first thing I did was draw out the blade portion of the habitat hook on the quarter inch aluminum plate. Here's the dimensions I used for that. Next you'll need to cut out that pattern that's on the aluminum plate. I used a jigsaw with a metal cutting blade. With the aluminum plate all cut out to shape, the next thing you do is attach the four chainsaw dogs. Now when you attach the chainsaw dogs, you're going to want to make sure that the teeth are facing towards the outside of the V. Next I marked out where the bolt holes are going to be on the plate. Then I center punched and drilled the holes. Now I drilled and tapped mine with a 1032 tap but you really don't have to do that. Just drill your hole big enough where your 1032 bolt fits through. Now that the end of the dogs are attached, the next thing to do is to secure the middle of them. And there's two ways to do that. The first way is to drill a quarter inch hole centered 
and right next to the edge of the dog. That will allow you to bolt down the center of the dog with a washer, a quarter 20 bolt, and another washer and nut on the other side of the plate. The second way, you'll need another 16 inches of a 1 inch by 8 inch thick aluminum flat stock, and that will add another 8 or 9 dollars to the cost. I had a spare piece laying around, so that's why I used it. If you go that route, you need to cut four pieces at four inches. Trace where the dog holes need to be, center punch and drill a hole for the two 1032 bolts to go through. Do that for all four pieces. Then lay one of the four pieces you just cut on top of the plate, followed by a chainsaw dog and two 1032 bolts. Center a number 10 washer on the edge of the chainsaw dog. Then mark the center of the washer, center punch it, and drill it to fit a 1032 bolt. Repeat this process for all the four plates. Now again, I drilled and tapped my holes with a 1032 bit, but you really don't need to do that. Now that all the holes are drilled, I attach the dogs. Again, make sure you have the points facing away from the center of the V. First bolt on the ends with a 1032 bolt. Put a washer on both sides and tighten them up with a lock nut. Then attach the center with a quarter 20 washer and bolt. My hole I have here is for attaching it with a plate on top, but your hole should fit flat against the dog. That way the washer will overhang on top of the dog and it clamps it down securely when you tighten it down with a washer and a lock nut on the other side. Now if you decide to use the plate, attach the center 1032 bolt first. Slide a bolt with a washer on the top side of the plate and two number 10 washers on the bottom side. I used two washers there because that made it the same thickness as the dogs. After tightening the bolt loosely, I slid the dog under the plate. Then attached the two end bolts and tightened all the bolts up. With the head of the habitat hook all done, I attached it to the one inch square tubing with two quarter 20 bolts. I centered it in the middle of the push blade portion of the playhead. I went in about one inch from both ends of the playhead. And the last thing to do is to make the handle. I cut a foot off of the eight foot long one inch square tubing. I put a T bracket on both sides of the handle and secured it with some quarter 20 bolts. Then I added a one and a half inch heat shrink tubing. I cut them an inch longer than the handle so I can tuck the overhang ends in the inside of the handle. And that about wraps it up for this video. And if you like do-it-yourself hunting builds like this video, you might want to check out my ladder stand extension build. And while you're at it, go check out some hunting related t-shirt merchandise. Both of these links will be in the description at the bottom of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe and like button down below. Go over to Facebook and HuntWise and follow us. And until next time, take care of yourself.